Hey guys, welcome back to Taz Hauls and Things. So today I'm coming to you with the DIY on that vase that I have been saying. Um, hopefully the weather is not humid outside that the paint will actually stick. But if it doesn't stick, then this will just be a DIY fail for me. So first I'm going to take my permanent marker and draw the spider web that I want on my vase and then I've cho I've chosen to um, use a puffy paint instead of the hot glue because my hot glue gun it's I'm getting too wide of a strip and it's flat so it's uh, it's just not working for me so maybe with the puffy paint it'll keep it more of a narrow puffy strip so we shall see take my vase I'm gonna mark about right in the center with a dot I'm going to draw my lines out. I'm not sure how many lines the spider web actually has. I'm going to go with five. And then connect said lines. Around the vase. Kind of like that, if you can see. Next, I'm going to take puffy paint that I had gotten from the Michaels stuff when I got the $4 boxes. And I'm just going to trace it. And again, if, I, if you don't get all of the marker covered, you are spray painting it black, so it will cover then. And now I'm going to speed the video up for you. And this is my finished spider web. Now I'm going to let it dry, and when I come back, we will go and spray paint it. See you guys soon. Hey guys, so I'm back. Now I'm going to try to spray paint this. As you can see, I tested out on one. It had a hairline like crack in between the two layers of glass, so I went ahead and bought another one and uh, redid it. So let's see how this comes out.
layer one is on so now we're gonna let it dry and then do a second layer and all I used was the color place spray paint um, I had some in our little cabinet so I figured I would try this if this doesn't work and I'll see what other kind of spray paint they have out there so we'll be back whenever it's dry okay guys it's time for coat two Now I'm going to let this dry probably overnight and then tomorrow I will hot glue those spiders on it and see if I have any black and purple roses because the Dollar Tree here has not put them out yet. So hopefully I do. See you soon. Hey guys, so my vase is dry. I didn't do it quite as thick as I wanted it to. Well, quite as thick as I imagined it would be. So now I know, do it twice or just put, um, just do a thicker, as far as higher coat, like go once and probably put another one over it. But it turned out all right. I kind of lost a little color on the bottom, but who's gonna be looking at the bottom? So I have chosen to use the small spiders. And I'm gonna put two on the web, so um, let's do that now because the hot glue gun is ready. It's actually about to drip on my table. So because these are hollow, I'm going to have to glue a piece to the leg. I'm going to put glue on the leg and then glue maybe on that, um, around the side of the body. Let's see what I can do. Kind of have glue everywhere. Whoops. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to glue this side because I incorrectly glued that one. Okay, there's my two spiders. Now I just need to clean all the glue off of the vase. Like so. Um, 
like I said in my last video when I went to the Dollar Tree today, well in this case it would be two days ago, um, they didn't have any more of the black and purple spider, I mean flowers that they had last year. I will be improvising a bit. I don't know if you remember these flowers. They came out in the spring. Uh, the zinnias, I believe is how you say it. I have two of the purple, so what I'm going to do just for display purposes, I am going to scrunch them and put them in. Tags and all, why not? Just kind of do that. Other than seeing the yellow, not too bad. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the black and purple flowers do have spider webs and spiders on them. But if they don't, I'll go ahead and add another spider in the um, flowers itself. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, I think I remember a bat being in there. Not 100% positive on that. But, not too bad. I really like the way it turned out. And it really didn't cost much. A dollar for the vase. I had the glue. I had I had the paint. The puffy paint. I had the spray paint outside already. These came in a pack of six for a dollar. And the flowers that I'm using today are a dollar a bundle. So two, three, four dollars is all spent. And like I say, once I get the other ones, it's still going to be four dollars. Because I think it's going to take two bunches of those flowers as well. So, hope you guys liked my DIY. I hope I did it well enough that you're able to follow it and I didn't put you to sleep. Sorry if I did. But I really like it, especially once I change out the flowers. I think it will look great on either a table, which I can add stuff around it at the bottom. You know, put on a tray, maybe put some other stuff with it. Or in front of my stove, I have like a little ledge. And I have like a mantle piece above it because I don't have a fireplace but it does have like a it was kind of like a breakfast nook that we kind of cut up and put a stove in but I think it would look really cute there so if you guys make it put it tag me on Instagram and like I said I just found this on Pinterest it's not my original idea but it is adorable and I loved it so I will link my Instagram below and um hopefully i'll have another diy in a few days i'm thinking a wreath next i have to refresh myself on how to make it it's been a while because i've been using the same one for a while so i will see you guys in my next video please like and subscribe and stick around for more diys bye guys